today we're on the Office Operations tab and we see the end of day section. So we're going to start end of day. Now please notice in red it will indicate any drawer that was used during this period of time. So I'm going to choose drawer number one and then you can choose an end date. Now please know if I have not submitted an end of day for the last two days, those two days will be included on this end of day report. So this date is going to process any days from the previous days that have not yet been processed. I say that because if you had not completed an end of day within the last couple of days, you may want to come in and choose a specific date, for instance June 1st, and then submit that end of day, and then come back and complete June 2nd as an individual end of day, and then today I'm going to go with June 3rd. So we're going to go ahead and click OK to get started. Now please note that Everlogic has already displayed an end of day number, the drawer number you selected along with the end date, my location, my name as I am the one that's logged into Everlogic currently, and then I start every day with $200 in my drawer. Now in today's world, you may or may not start with any cash in your drawer, and that's okay. You can leave it at zero. 